Hey what is up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Gran Turismo 7. Turns out today is update day for Gran Turismo 7 with update 1.45 dropping a week after update 1.44. But don't get your hopes up, this isn't really a content update, it's actually more of a bug fix update. So let me explain what's going on here. So alongside update 1.44 there was a major overhaul of a certain car's PP rating when ran under BOP, which was the Ford GT LM spec test car. Uh, basically this car ended up running an extra 16 performance points when under BOP meaning that it had a pretty ridiculous advantage to the point where it would have entirely broke the game no matter where this car was at it was absolutely ridiculous straight away they pretty much went and banned it so essentially if you've noticed in sport mode for the last week or so there's only been specified cars instead of the usual entire category of group 3 and that is because they had to go ahead and remove the car. So as you can see from the update details for 1.45 a new update for Gran Turismo 7 has been released. The following is a list of adjustments introduced so we have improvements and adjustments number one balance of performance dash BOP fixed an issue wherein the BOP power settings for the 4 GT LM spec 2 test car were incorrect resulting in the car producing more power than intended and it wasn't even just a slight power adjustment it was absolutely ridiculous uh, but it does seem that they've eventually gone ahead and fixed this inside a week which isn't bad going for polyphony's standards so that car should return back to the rotation of the group freeze and its BOP should at least be a bit more in line. So do I have complete confidence in Polyphony to fix this car? I think we'll probably see it do one thing or the other. It'll either be not fixed enough or it will be completely nerfed in the ground and never to be seen once again. So it would be quite unfortunate if it, it kind of did that considering they had an opportunity to really rebalance the PP rating to get it more in line with some of the better vehicles in Group 3. Now there we go in terms of the main patch notes however there was something a little bit extra I noticed when scrolling through Twitter or X this morning. An official livery was actually released for Gran Turismo 7 in the last hour. This is by Spoon Sports Official over on Twitter and as you can see translating from Japanese it goes on to say Delivery of the Spoon race car that will be competing in Super Take-U 2024 has been released in Gran Turismo 7. We hope you all enjoy racing with Spoon Civic. By the way, the people at Spoon worked hard on this with a lot of help from Polyphony Digital. Delivery name Spoon Rigid Collar Civic Super Endurance 2024. And here's the livery itself. It was released into the game around about an hour or two ago at this point. As you can see, it's the Spoon Sports Type R FL5 2022 Civic. And as you can see, it looks absolutely incredible. So I just thought this was a nice little kind of side addition. Obviously, it doesn't actually relate to the update, but it is nice to see an official Spoon page putting in their official liveries for the upcoming season. So go ahead and check this one out if you haven't already. Obviously it runs their iconic colour scheme as well of the blue and yellow. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. It was just a quick video on update 1.45 and finally the fix for the Ford GT LM Spec 2 test vehicle. It should be more in line and I'll probably go ahead and just give it a quick test to see if they've either completely got rid of the car and it'll be never seen again I guess in terms of the BOP or if they've maybe not fixed it quite enough. Let me know your thoughts down below. I will see you in the next one. Take care guys. Peace.